Josh, it's a good time to have a catch up. Prior to signing to the New Saints, you were at West Ham United, Coventry City, you were on loan at a number of clubs, including Newport County. Looking back, any particular highlight that stands out for you, for you from your time prior to joining TNS? Yeah, I think a few. Um, I'm only 25, so I've had you know relatively sort of short career so far. But um, yeah, just stand, what stood out for me being on the bench at, uh, in the Premier League against Chelsea and Southampton uh, at when I was at West Ham. Um, and that was a big highlight, I remember vividly those two specific dates. I was only on the bench, but it was a, it was a big thing at the time. And to say, you, you know, you're part of a Premier League squad uh, and being involved in um, in those two games was uh, was really cool. And uh, yeah, obviously playing the championship as well. I think you know, it's the highest level I've played at. And, um, you know, you're playing against some top, top, you know, almost uh, international players at points as well. So that was, um, to get a few games in the championship when I was at Coventry was really cool as well. Some great memories there. And I think it's true to say, because we did discuss this when you signed for TNS, that the pull of European competition was a big key factor as far as coming to Park Hall was concerned. Yeah, it was actually. I remember now when I was at West Ham, I think, um, I think we finished maybe fifth or sixth one season and we had, I think it was European qualifiers for the Europa League. And I was involved uh, sort of on the bench against a few like I think it was a Romanian side as well and I got a sort of a, an understanding for it then and there was a real drive even for West Ham being a Premier League side to play international football and they have done in the last few years um, but definitely it's what attracted me to sort of TNS and you know even just the qualifying games there's, there's a real sort of um, there's a real sort of excitement to play in those games and, and potentially you know go on and actually play uh, whether that's Conference League, you know, your, your Europa League football, um, which is very attractive, you know. And you made your debut on the European stage away at Windsor Park against Linfield. A bittersweet experience in many ways because it was great for you personally, but not the result we wanted as a team. Yeah, obviously that was very frustrating looking back on it. You know, we were moments away from, from winning that game and making the, sort of the route to European football you know, very, very, a lot, well, a lot easier. Um, you know, this is football, things happen, unfortunately, right at the death. And, um, but it was a, you know, it was a great experience and just that sort of, the atmosphere, um, being on the European stage was, was really cool and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And hopefully, you know, next season, you know, we'll, go, we'll go a few steps further. And you also played against the Icelandic side as well. But then, on a personal level, it was all downhill because you picked up an injury. Yeah, so um, it was, I think it was the, uh, the week after that game. Um, yeah, these things happen, you know, as, as part of football, uh, it, it was sort of kind of unprovoked, but it happens, you know what I mean? I just uh, took a fall and I think I banged my knee on the floor quite significantly and it was, uh, it turns out it was a PCL tear, which was, looking at it, I was fearing that thankfully it didn't require surgery because um, that would have put me out for pretty much the whole season because um, normally people think of ACL tears and, and then requiring surgery and, and taking sort of sort of six to nine months to recover from which is usually a season but in this instance PCL is kind of uncommon um, but in this case I didn't need surgery which is which is good and thankfully I've, I've had a successful sort of rehab and now back playing obviously made my debut the other day um, so I'm really excited to sort of get back playing and enjoy my football again. And you'd been out for a similar time with a similar injury during your time at Coventry City so you'd been there before? Yeah I think uh, you know football you sort of develop a lot of experiences whether they're on the pitch or off the pitch uh, and sometimes you know injury is just a part of the game um, some players get injured more than others for whatever reason but when I was at Coventry it was a similar sort of situation where I signed um, had a whole pre-season and uh, right sort of just before the start of the season I picked up an ankle tear which kept me out for a while um, which required surgery actually so um, these things happen you know and uh, it's just part of the game and you've got to sort of take the good with the bad and, and sort of roll with the punches really. And as a footballer it must be not only disappointing but frustrating as well especially here at Park Hall the players are out there training and you're in the gym. Yeah, it happens, you know what I mean? It's just, it is upsetting and frustrating would probably be the word I would use. I think so many times you want to be out there playing, you want to be sort of uh, um, helping the team win, um, improving individually and just enjoying your football. Um, and, you know, a lot of people say there's a lot of more lows and highs in football and, and injury is part of that. 
but like I said, you, you've got to, got to roll with the punches, understand that it's part of the game and uh, try and see sort of the positives and everything. And it, it gave me time to sort of get in the gym and sort of come back stronger. And it's more of a mental thing as well. A lot of the times it's just, although you're physically injured, it's, it's a mental sort of, it takes a mental toll on you. Um, but understanding you've been, been through it before and I tribute, you know, I've got faith in Christ and he helps me as well get through those tough times. Sometimes it can be quite low, especially at the start when I first got, you know, the first week is tough because you have to sort of accept the fact that you're going to be on the sideline for, you know, months. Um, but, you know, I, I have faith in Christ and I believe that all things work together for my good. So regardless of whether I'm injured or playing, whatever it might be, I have faith and, uh, and that keeps me grounded. I guess in some ways though when you get to the gym stage that's quite a positive because you've moved on from the crutches and not being involved at all so you can begin to see light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah I think it's just having that perspective really of it's going to take time and then you're going to see gradual you know improvements and you sort of get excited when you go to the next sort of stage there was times where I, I was in a brace for a for, it must have been about 10 weeks um, and then there's times where you take the brace off and you're like oh I get a bit of movement back in my knee again and, uh, and that's always exciting so you look kind of set milestones and little sort of checkpoints and when you tick them off you get a bit of excitement knowing that you're, you're nearly there um, but it was good to obviously now I'm back playing enjoying my football injury free don't have any problems in my knee so the rehab was successful and uh, looking forward to sort of get a run of games in really. And you mentioned your faith there, Josh, that's very important to you, as we know. And how valuable was that during those times of injury as you were coming back from the injury itself to the gym and then, of course, onto the pitch? Yeah, I think it's valuable regardless, if I'm honest with you. I think specifically in the moments where you're down, um, where you know, you've got bad news or you're physically hurt, you really sort of you're clinging to that more. I think you're, you're more focused on your faith and arts and God or, or you know, just help in that, in that moment or when you're feeling down, you're more likely to sort of seek God. But it's knowing that regardless of the situation, you know, we, I always need him. Um, and, but it was, you know, just knowing that I'm gonna be all right, knowing that this, this will pass and I'll be back fit one day and, and whatever, you know, maybe God's trying to teach me a lesson in this particular moment. So not necessarily seeing it as a negative. So change your, your perspective on, on injuries and just trials and, and situations in general, really. And however frustrating or disappointing the last few months have been, well, you were on the bench last Friday here at Park Hall against Aberystwyth Town. That in itself was a big step forward. Definitely. I think um, I wasn't too sure I was gonna, if I was going to make the bench or be involved, um, but I sort of uh, spoke to Phil and, and the gaffer and I said oh, look, you know I'd like to sort of be involved I don't know what your plans are for me if it's too soon or not uh, but it was good to I, I got a message from Sarge the day before and he said I'll oh, make sure you have your shin pads ready and I was sort of like oh, I'll, I'll be on the bench I'll, you know what I mean so I was glad to get on as well um, obviously it was a quite comfortable game for us but it was just good to get a run out and just be with the lads and you know uh, just be a part of it again uh, you know I really enjoyed it and hopefully uh, we'll push on and and continue to get some more minutes under my belt. And it was a comfortable victory, of course, for the New Saints against Aberystwyth Town. So I guess in terms of you coming on after being out for so long, that was as good as it gets. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I think those games you want to come back into an easy game where you can sort of find your feet again on the pitch. Um, you know, and it, like I said, it was a comfortable win as well, 11-0. Um, uh, you don't see that every day. Uh, but it's good to you know be a part of it and uh, and be with the lads and, and then sort of enjoy that win and um, yeah just like I said looking forward to sort of pushing on uh, winning more games and getting more minutes. And you're back into full training now and that's where you've been this morning prior to our interview here on the patio. What does the future hold for Josh Pask in terms of your personal ambitions this season? Yeah I mean obviously I think it's, it's probably similar to the rest of the team where we, we obviously want to win the league hopefully um, go undefeated we're, we're on that sort of path at the moment um, but you know the, the main importance is winning the league um, uh, you know getting as many points as we possibly can enjoying our football at the same time um, performing to a good standard and making sure that you know we're playing attractive football which you know Craig and uh, Sarge are, are really sort of trying to uh, stamp our the way we play um, especially in training to make sure that you know we're playing attractive football enjoyable football uh, and yeah, just winning the league really, that's, that's what the main focus is on, just winning every game as it comes.